Hey babes, welcome back. Sharice here, living for the city. Um, this week I am at the rail park. I'm sorry, I got like a lot going on here. I'm at the rail park for their plant swap and pop up. I'm not here to swap my plant. I'm here because my baby needs help. She's dying. And so I'm hoping that not only can I get a new plant here, but I'll get some help with him. Um, and so we're gonna see if we can get some assistance with this plant and bring him or her back to life. What do you think? Here we go. all the soil that's here from that little puddle in the bottom and that will cause root rot over time no yeah you think it's rotted yeah even if you water very carefully it's not rotted it doesn't look like it's rotted i need to I replant it i need to replant it yeah so it's dry so it's safe it's i haven't safe. been watering it because i thought i was yeah. over watering it here i'm gonna give you a free shot this is two dollars awesome sauce i'm so excited thank you so much find out where i put the first um, Ian's got some really, Ian's got some really. Okay. But drainage holes. Perfect. The drainage holes. Hi. So this will be, yeah. This is type of succulent? Yeah, it is. It is. So it needs okay. well draining soil. So what I'm going to do, if it's okay, just take this back here. Yes, thank you. Let me set up so you can see. I'll set up a little stand. All right, cool. I'm sorry. No, you're good. All right. Get out of your way. I'll just make a little space right over here, and we'll bring it over here. Okay. Oh my god, isn't this the cutest little thing, Moss? Uh -oh. so I got all my soil amendments. So what I added into this, vermiculite, one part. Okay. Perlite, one part. Okay. I've heard of perlite, okay. Yes. And organic potting mix, black and gold, two parts. Got it. So that's my mix. Um, okay. I was taught that mix when I worked in the greenhouse, University of Hawaii's greenhouse. Really? Yeah, when I went Hawaii? to school there. Yep. I used to live in Hawaii. What are you doing here? Yeah. It's a very complicated island too. It's not mm. the place for, for foreigners really. Oh. Um, anyway, so when I was out there, they taught me this mix. Okay. And this is a great all-purpose uh, mix, but I, I especially added in a little bit of extra perlite and vermiculite. Got it. What those both are and what they do. Perlite is a porous mineral that absorbs and wicks water out of the soil. Okay. So it helps to keep your soil well-drained while also conserving moisture for the roots. Okay. What the vermiculite does, which if you look in here, you can see all these really tiny little golden shiny bits. Mm. You see those? Yes. Vermiculite is another very light, porous mineral, mm -hmm. and it helps break up the soil and create drainage, airs, air and drainage, you know? Uh -huh. So roots, they have this thing in there called cation exchange capacity, it's CEC. Cation exchange capacity is the ability of the roots of a plant to transfer ions from the soil into the roots and vice versa. And that's how they uptake all of the nutrients that they need. That's how they eat, right? Okay. So that fancy process is the miracle to all plants existence on earth. Um, and some fungi in there too. Um, and what they need to do that properly is a balanced pH, mm -hmm. not too much water, and not too little water. Okay. Um, so having this mix of ingredients in the uh -huh. soil helps to find those properties. That's awesome. what it does. Basically creates a very neutral, neutral pH, neutral drainage, uh -huh. neutral aeration, okay. and helps make sure that this plant has all the different criteria it needs survive that looks like it's gonna work right it does i was just about to ask you does it need to be deeper but it looks like it went right in there so it, we're good yeah. so succulents this guy's gonna look very full in a little bit 
Um, once Looks it starts so much better to grow already. Back out, right? Now will it? Now will the things that fell off? Will they come back at some point, or are they done yeah. for good? So okay. the leaves themselves yeah. won't come back the way they grow. You see the like the growth pattern how it's yeah. Pulsing. So it's a very pretty growth pattern. Unfortunately, you won't get that same exact pattern. Okay. But what you will get is you'll get new stems growing okay. out of the main branch, and they'll they'll have the same leaf pattern. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it'll just look like a little fuller. Okay. You know? And then. Should I be, should I just leave this alone? Like I don't Honestly, have to replant it and like play with it. And when's the last it? time you watered this guy? I haven't watered it for at least two weeks because I was afraid something was happening to it. Okay, <laughs> so give it some water today. Okay. It's a great day, it's nice and hot out too. At the end of the day, when it's okay. out of the sun. Okay. Give it some water. Okay. Let me, I just want these all to stick nice and straight up. I know. I use gravity as my tool here. <laughs> um, a little extra so it's nice and full. Yeah. And I'm gonna, Flip that back up now. Look at that. Oh, you look so much a little, better. I don't like pushing down the soil, but because oh, no? this guy's a little bigger, I just want it to be firmly in there, not okay. fall out the side. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. And a little more adjustment. And then all of these little things that are like hanging off, I can take those off, right? Yeah, anything that any leaf on here, if you take it off and you just like that. It doesn't work. I've tried that. You tried? I'm doing not something with this wrong. One. Yes. It could be too much watering. That could be it. That could be it. Let it let it really sit. They like okay. to be dry. I water these guys once a month. What? Once a month. I was usually doing it once a week. Double check that this is the correct pitcher of water. And then let's see what else I want while I'm here. Yes. Your clean water. All right. These are so pretty. What is this fella? That is a Saracenia hybrid. It is a tropical carnivorous plant from Asian, uh, Asian yeah. tropical rainforests. Um, and what it does is the leaves, which form these interesting cones, I know, secretes a sweet smelling sap that lures in insects, Shut traps up. insects, and it, it digests the whole in there. Um, it is self fertilizing for that reason. And uh, awesome. it's really, it's a really fun plant to take care of because it really does take care of itself. Um, okay. And lots of moisture. Pretty much the polar opposite of what you have here. I know. <laughs> yeah. Except for the light requirements. It also likes bright direct light. Okay. But very different water requirements. You have a line here, but I'm going to ask you about this one too. What about oh, yeah. that one? Right That's there. a spider plant. Yeah, and I've those, seen those before. Yeah, I've been charging $2.99 for those. Okay, I'm probably going to take one of those too. Okay, yeah. That's and dye. Wow. So you do them yourself too. Yes, they're all made by myself. By me. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I construct, I press them and I construct them in the wild. Oh, yeah. Bag. Oh, Not penny about that. Oh my god, how cute. Babes. So I got assistance with my baby. 
baby and she looks so much better I'm so excited all right so we're all set I got a couple of other babies too I got a cactus another um, succulent I feel like I do better with succulents anyway this is a cool um, event here a little pop-up shop um, that's the great thing about Philly is that they have so many cool little um, pop-up shops throughout the city sorry you're all over the place sorry so many cool little pop-ups throughout the city and it's really nice because you're right here right downtown easily accessible and the real park as you know is such a cool space and so anyway we had such a great time here um, and I hope you did too um, if you are not already following them on Instagram or Facebook I'm gonna tag them in the description box below so just be sure to um, open that up and take a look at the um, Philly pop-up shop for plans plant pop-up I think that's it. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that little red button below and then follow me on my day-to-day -day highlights on Instagram, living underscore four underscore the underscore city. Like me on Facebook, looking for the city seven seven. And I think that's it. Until next week, stay cool. Bye.